So I got my two swap ocarinas. Um, one I got from Daniel uh, Benora, and the other one is from Ari and Tuluva, or uh, Ed, Ed Bernard. Um, so first I guess I'll go over Daniel's ocarina. So I actually have, um, I've had several of his because he, we, we live pretty close to each other. So I've, I've gotten the, um, you know, the opportunity to play a bunch of his. So I actually had Daniel in the last swap. And so I believe this is made from the same mold. Um, but, you know, you can see there, there definitely are some, some differences, I think mainly like in the mouthpiece. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with the camera here. Um, and then I think position of the thumb hole. So in this one, it's more kind of like how Robert uh, Hickman does his, whereas this one, it's more in the center. Um, he's also moved uh, the right thumb hole. And, you know, I think I think it's it's really good. Um, I think, you know, looking back at some of my comments, Daniel, that I had about your last, uh, this last ocarina that you gave me. Um, so from ergonomics, you know, I, I, I definitely felt like you needed to move. I think the thumb hole was kind of further down and bring it in, in here feels a lot more a lot more comfortable um, you know before I think the left thumb hole was positioned right here and with it down here it's it's like a much more comfortable ocarina to hold now so I think I think that's good um, let's see uh, yeah I think yeah so yeah the mouthpiece feels feels comfortable to, to put um, to play into I think I would try to like one thing I would do is I might try to smooth if I can get this actually focus smooth um, the mouthpiece right here a little bit basically I just take a blade and just slice it so because I can basically see that like on the top here um, this is sticking out more than the bottom part, ever so slightly. I'm kind of nit nitpicking here. Um, your voicing looks really good. Um, I mean, it's definitely, definitely cleaner, more circular than, than your last one. Um, the only thing I'll say, I, I don't know if you swapped your, your slot stick, but the Winway exit, so going to the sound hole on on this this new ocarina I think is a little high so I don't know if that's just an artifact of you know you making it and, and something happened or you swapped your plot you know your slot stick but I generally I mean it, it the ocarina plays fine I, I generally I think at least for this size ocarina I probably want it like a little bit a little bit thinner um so I just measure that and see what you have um let's see Interior looks good. Um, oh yeah, the other thing that I noticed was you're doing a much, much better job of cleaning up those holes. And I think you had told me that you got a hole smoothing tool. Um, and I can definitely tell, you know, especially on the left hand finger holes, you know, they're, they're, they're looking really, really good. Um, you know, there's a few here, I think the right pinky and index and uh and ring finger could be cleaned up a little bit you know i think what i like to do even if the ocarina is dry and you have like a little bit of this crumbling here is dip your finger in water and, but make sure there's not too much on it just like you know, dab it in and then go like this on the hole and then take your hole smoothing tool and go through it again and just that'll help you kind of clean it up even when if the clay is dry um yeah, the, the finish is really pretty. Uh, you know, I, I think you did some straw firing and I, I think this one turned out really well. I'm definitely gonna have to try this. Um, and the shellac that you put on definitely seals it and uh, makes it look really good. So as far as tuning goes, and I'll play something after this. So at least... So blowing at a comfortable pressure um, you know, it seems like this ocarina is around C. Um, the main thing I've kind of observed is so playing the same breath pressure from C to D. It's like about 20, it's 26 cents 
flat difference in breath pressure. So I would have made this, this pinky hole a little bit larger so I don't have to increase my breath pressure as much. Like I try to get that around uh, 10 to you know 15 cents um, flatter with the same breath pressure. So let's look at some other ones. So the difference between that is basically like a half step and uh, plus 25. So to get it up, it's quite an increase in breath pressure. So, you know, almost like 50 or 75 cents. Um, so again, this, this hole, this second finger hole here, I would also increase that a little bit. Generally, generally on most ocarinas, you know, you'll kind of like notice the pat. So like, here's mine. Notice how the pinky finger is it's small, and then the next step is is a little bit larger. And I, I don't know if everybody knows this, but I mean, you can even kind of follow the like the pattern of a scale. You can visibly see it on an ocarina, right? So. From C to D is a whole, so the pattern is, you know, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, right? So that's, that's the, um, the, uh, the pattern for, for a scale in terms of the spacing between the notes. So, so C to D, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Notice that when we're taking whole steps, the holes tend to be a little bit, a little bit bigger and we're doing half steps the holes tend to be a little bit smaller because we're not actually moving it up as much in frequency um so yeah so I, I guess my main my main thought here is that you know i would enlarge these holes a little bit um just so that you don't have to increase your breath pressure as much as you're going from one note to the next and it makes it very hard so like if i if it makes it hard to play the the high c like without really really blowing so that's me playing the same breath pressure so we're at b so i have to go up like basically uh, a half and a whole step or a half step So see how 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 much harder I have to blow. I mean, you can even you know hear how how loud it is. So, you know, I think increasing these the lower holes here, um, the size of them will basically solve all your problems further up the range. And honestly, maybe what I'll do is I'll I'll Dremel tool some of these holes down here and see if I can fix it a little bit um, and then see how it sounds. But but yeah, no. Otherwise, I I think I think that's kind of the main. The main thing that I'm seeing here with your with your tuning, um, but otherwise, like a lot of the ergonomic things that I brought up before, they're really good. Then we have Ed's Ocarina, and I have to say that when I took this out of the box, I had quite a laugh and <laughs> showed it showed it to my wife. So I think the idea is that so it has these googly eyes, and I'm guessing this is the nose of the mouth, or maybe this is 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 the mouth. But I definitely see that um, <laughs> it has a uh, it kind of looks like a face. So I don't know that that's kind of neat. Um, I have one of your other ocarinas. I think yeah, we, we, we swapped in the, the last swap as well. Um, I don't know if you made this one prior or um, or after that. Because um, I can't, 
can't remember exactly. Like I think the other one, I guess so. So when I opened this Ocarina, it said it did not use the English um, tuning system, which which is which is true. You can see that a lot of the holes are similar in size. Um, I was able to figure out how to play a, a, a tune on it, which I'll I'll play for you guys. Um, but yeah, general comments. Um, you know, similar things to Daniel. You know that I've said in the past. So. I'd use like a hole smoothing tool to get the make these holes like a little bit cleaner. Um, I think, yeah, the wind weight thickness is maybe a little thin for a pendant, but you know, it, well, no, I, I think I think it's I think it's fine. Um, it's it's kind of hard to see, but it's, it's it's just a very thin one, very thin thin tool. Um, you know, the mouth mouthpiece here. I mean, just clean that up a little bit. Um, I can kind of see where the windway exit is as it hits the edge of the ocarina. Basically, there's like there's the edge here, so you're blowing in your air. The air the the, the air is hitting hitting this and going you know out of the ocarina and then in. So in the ocarina, on the sides, right where the sound hole is, I see there's like it's like the clay wall um, is kind of jutting down. So it's like, it's like the air is going down a column. Um, I would kind of try to, I would try to carve that away a little bit because um, it may mess with the playability. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, I think those are kind of my main feedback. So thank you for the, the googly eye ocarina. <laughs>